There is no way that could be happening to me. I'm becoming paralyzed. The one in the lower A order was probably going to kill me. They noticed a spot on my left upper lung. Proved to be cancer. I had an inoperable brain tumor. The you are a dead man walking. Our Board of Trustees is very proud of this magnificent center for healing, dedicated in memory of a very great American, our beloved general. Today's dedication is much more than the formal opening of a building. It is a tribute to the perseverance and generosity of literally thousands of people who should be mentioned here today, if only time permitted. This hospital, like Ike, will be a good neighbor. It will serve the community and the world. Eisenhower gave me my life back. I just can't thank Eisenhower enough. Saved my life. People actually look at me and say, you're still alive. And I am. Commitment, heart, generosity. These are the qualities needed to create something new and extraordinary. The story of the Eisenhower Medical Center is testament to the power of a shared vision and of a proud legacy of philanthropy that continues to the present day. A passionate collection of volunteers, celebrities, donors, presidents, former presidents, and medical staff focused on what seemed an improbable dream, building a world-class nonprofit medical facility in the middle of the desert. I'm a builder. My primary job is looking to the future to try to provide a vision for the organization uh, and then build towards that. Continuing to grow and improve, uh, it's a job that's never done. You look at all the different services you provide, there's always new technology coming, new ideas. It's to stay current, to stay financially strong and solvent. My name is Marty Masiello. I'm the Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer at Eisenhower Medical Center. I like to think of Eisenhower as sort of the jewel in the center of the valley. What we do that's special is take care of people in an exceptional way. We have a great medical staff. We have an engaged workforce that takes pride in what they do. We have incredible facilities. We have amazing donors. And so it's an amazing place to be, to work, and to get healthcare. What is remarkable about this institution is how visionary the leadership is and how they seem to see what's coming in advance. And the philanthropists on the board seem to be willing to step up again and again, decade after decade, to make sure that no matter what the changes are, that we are still delivering top quality and excellence. And they're doing it with spirit and drive and ambition and enthusiasm. And it is very rewarding to be a part of that. Eisenhower Medical Center has really a fascinating foundation in Genesis that created the need to have a hospital here in the center of the valley. President Eisenhower was playing golf with Clark Swanson of Swanson Foods. Clark Swanson had a health event, and I believe it was an aneurysm. They took him up to the closest hospital, which was in Palm Springs. He never recovered. And Dolores Hope, along with a close group of people, including Florence Swanson, they got together and said, let's study the need for a hospital here in the middle of the valley. Stanford Research Institute came back and said, you ought to just put your funds into a place in LA. And they said, you know what? Thanks for the advice, but we're raising money and gonna build a hospital right here. Every time I was ready to give up, there was my Bob, quietly but firmly confident that it would be accomplished. After overcoming financial roadblocks and initial skepticism, Eisenhower Medical Center was incorporated in 1965. I've had the thrill of watching it grow, and I've had the thrill of seeing all the wonderful doctors that have come on board. Becoming a teaching hospital took away that one thing that people used to say in the old days, I'm going back to Chicago or New York, because they know when you're a teaching hospital, you're the best. And that's what we're becoming. We're becoming the best. And they don't say that anymore. I think that we have added the confidence of these fabulous doctors to our community. And everybody is grateful. And they don't have to go home anymore. They're home. And this is what we have given them. Eisenhower has been able to attract because our facilities here are outstanding. Whatever a doctor says he needs in order to improve the patient care, 
he gets. We have outstanding specialists in, in, in almost every category of medicine. The eight years I was chairman here were the most satisfying volunteer experience uh, of my life. Eisenhower is like no other hospital that I've ever been involved in. The service, the special care, the fact that it's small enough to be able to be in touch with the patient, but big enough to be able to offer the many services that they do. Our philosophy of nursing here at Eisenhower is relationship-based care. Our nurses care very deeply about patients so that they can provide the most excellent care that we can. We are so grateful to donors that have made it possible for our nurses to achieve the high levels of certification and professional education that we have here at Eisenhower. It has allowed us to achieve magnet designation and to be here, to be compassionate. The most powerful force changing the future of this institution is technology. We do a lot of things here that normally you wouldn't find done other than at a university or some major medical center. Technology is going to cost money and require amazing foresight. So there are just so many exciting developments. In the last 45 years, what started as a single hospital building amid sand dunes and wildflowers has grown into a 130-acre main campus with additional locations across the Coachella Valley. There's a demand for our services on the outpatient side. You've got to be about outpatient care. People don't want to look at you any longer as a place where you come for disease management, but you come for health. It's been a real joy to watch us be able to expand the health system. We have a wonderful history here of philanthropy, and I think that that will only continue. If we didn't have the support of what has become a very broad group of philanthropists, we wouldn't have the ability to have this great excellence available to everyone in the Valley. Eisenhower couldn't be what it is today had it not been for philanthropy. We couldn't survive without it. They give it because we're so proud of what Eisenhower has become. You're doing something that may have personal value to you, but you know that you're also doing something that has enormous value to every single person in this community. The fact that Eisenhower has maintained such outstanding quality and excellence is a real tribute to those that work here and those that have contributed over the years. We touch the human spirit. That's what your founders here wanted. And I think they'd look to us now and say, you did well. Eisenhower Medical Center offers unparalleled high quality health care and educational programs. Of all the monuments, public buildings, places, and thoroughfares perpetuating the name of Dwight David Eisenhower, I think this medical center would perhaps have been the most gratifying to him, because this project was dear to Ike's heart. Well, I look at all our friends, neighbors, and this is really a dream come true. That's why this hospital is such a fitting tribute to Ike. No president was more concerned for the well-being of his fellow Americans.